Hey guys, you're watching Phone Arena's in-depth video review of the HTC Surround, which is going to be available very shortly with AT&T with a contract price of $200. It's one of the few handsets that's going to launch uh, Windows Phone 7 here in the, into the mainstream in the U.S. with AT&T. And it sports a very interesting uh, form factor uh, with the slide-out uh, speaker, but the big story here is, of course, Windows Phone 7. So we'll check out and see how, what the HTC Surround has to offer in regards to that. Between this, the LG Quantum, and even the Samsung Focus, both also Windows Phone 7 devices for AT&T, the HTC Surround feels like it's the best best built qual um, best built handset out of all of them. Now that's what you expect out of HTC, and the Surround follows uh, fittingly. You have that nice industrial design, so it's a pretty pretty spectacular looking handset. Uh, it's constructed out of metal all around, and you definitely feel the weight in it, but you definitely know it has a good durability with it. We also like the fact that they employed the soft touch coating material on the back, and there's some metal speckles to give it that luster. But overall, we're very happy with the look and design of the HTC Surround, and it's it has a quality construction, and you know it's a premium device from HTC. Powering on the HTC Surround for the very first time, you're going to be greeted to its 3.8 inch WVGA capacitor touchscreen. So that's 480 by 800 pixels. And uh, when you compare this to like the Super AMOLED panel on the Samsung Focus, it might not produce some rich looking colors, but it does a great job in its own its own right. And on top of that, it has some really good viewing angles, so you're going to be able to see stuff on screen. But it does work a lot better in direct sunlight because uh, you're still you'll still be able to view what's on screen. And thanks to the WVJ resolution, you're going to be able to even read the uh, smallest of text just because it's very clear and distinct. So you're not going to have any problems with that. Um, it's very responsive too, so we're happy with the overall response it offers. Right below the uh, touch screen, you have your touch sensitive buttons. You have the back or previous key, start key, and also the search. We didn't have any problems as far as accidentally pressing them, so that's pretty good. And on the um, there's nothing on the left side. On the uh, right side, you just have a two level shutter key, the, the large size uh, volume rocker, pretty thin. Uh, but uh, it has a pretty good distinction when you, when you touch it. On the top, you just simply have a dedicated power button, which is nice size and easy to access. A 3.5mm headset jack on the top too. And on the back, you have the 5 megapixel autofocus camera with the single LED flash. Um, you have also at the bottom here, just the uh, micro USB port for charging and connecting to your computer. When you slide the uh, phone you get you get uh, exposed to the uh, the uh, speaker which is pretty big and you have a button here that cycles through all the uh, sound options with the handset removing the back cover it's pretty simple you just got to slide it up, just uh, yank it off and it's going to give you access to the uh, battery and the sim card slot as much as we love the HTC Surround's hardware, we're, the big star here is of course Windows Phone 7, which has been in development for quite some time. And we're happy to say that Microsoft did a wonderful job in creating this platform from the ground up. Um, it exudes just a high level of uh, consistency from the performance, the quality, of presentation, and consistency. It's just a fantastic platform. There's a lot of eye candy with all the transition effects and all the information that's constantly popping up with the handset. It's powered by a 1 gig Hertz Snapdragon processor, so the the experience navigating about the platform is pretty pretty consistent. You notice all these uh, fancy looking uh, transition effects and animations. It does it so well and just uh, a very responsive uh, platform. So we're overly impressed by it. But however, there are some limitations. For example, it lacks multitasking, no copy and paste feature. And uh, it's still in the early stages of development, but hopefully with uh, time, it'll only get better and better, and it's going to be a full-fledged operating mobile operating system that can compete head-on with all the others out there. So this is the home screen of Windows Phone 7 and the HTC Surround, and as you can tell, it's broken down into different tiles or hubs as they like to call it. So you have various ones for like the messaging hub, you have the people hub, your me hub. Um, some of them are going to be ag animated just because uh, the, it's going to constantly uh, aggregate specific information. For example, if you look at the people hub, it's going to just show all the uh, contact photos. It's going to cycle through all of them. And with the uh, me hub, as you tell, uh, it'll show your con your photo on there. And if you put a status message, whether it be on Windows Live or even uh, Facebook, it's going to display that as well. Um, as you, and it's only available in um, uh, portrait view. You can't view this in landscape. Some some tiles occupy two spaces. This is something uh, uh, 
uh, that's handled by the platform itself but you can move around the tiles to your own liking so if you want to move it to a specific spot or delete something you have that option you could pin something on there like let's say you have a a website uh, or a page that you want to set up automatically to be on here you have that option too but there's a, a lot of different stuff you can do and we're pretty satisfied with uh, the home screen layout of the device when it comes down to social networking uh, Windows Phone 7 only integrates right now uh, Windows Live and Facebook unfortunately Twitter's out of the question but hopefully down the road that gets uh, taken care of so if you go into your people's hub it's going to show you all your contacts um, and if you keep on scrolling it just shows you a various content um, from the most recent profiles or friends you've checked out you even have um, one for your all your contacts on the device you can even sync it up with google contacts and of course your people hub here will aggregate all of the uh, the feeds you have from windows live even facebook so you can see what's going on with all your friends you could even post a comment if you'd like to and uh, you can even like something with uh, facebook and if you want to do yourself um, if you want to put a status message for yourself or a wall post you just go to your own hub click on here and you'll have the option of posting it to Windows Live or even Facebook it might not be tightly integrated with the platform but it's a nice start uh, but there's still some work uh, in getting it to be uh, fully integrated thanks to the 1 GHz Snapdragon processor sending message is not a problem uh, it's very responsive actually so this is um, your your messaging application as you could tell the on-screen keyboard um, only uh, it's available both in uh, portrait and landscape we like the fact that as soon as you start typing it'll give you some predictive options just in case there is also autocorrect so if you're messing up it'll automatically fix it for you um, you click the bottom right corner here with the uh, dots just going to give you the information with the associated icons uh, we like the fact that the keyboard is very responsive and quick we didn't have any problems with it when you switch over to using it in landscape um, you get a little bit larger keyboard but it doesn't quite take advantage of the real estate as you notice here on the left hand side there's still some space that you could use but it should be more than adequate uh, for you to speed type no problem Email setup is pretty much a breeze, just like any other smartphone platform out there, just because you put in your username and password, and voila, you have your email set up. Uh, specific clients will probably require specific, uh, additional information like uh, server addresses and all that. But uh, as you could tell here, um, there's no universal or, or unified inbox. They're all separated by their various tiles, so if you quickly launch something, um, you'll get right into it. And there's just a lot of functionality with it. You have your basics. Uh, it doesn't list it in, in a threaded view, unfortunately, so you're just going to have it all in the list view. So you have options, additional options, such as toggling it. You can mark it as unread. You can move it, delete, respond. But it's pretty simple and straightforward, and it's pretty much what you expect out of any other email client out there. So we have to say that we're thoroughly impressed with the level of performance that Internet Explorer has to offer with uh, Windows Phone 7. As you can tell here, our page slowed up in good time, and top of that renders it just as you see it on a desktop. Now there are some limitations such that it doesn't offer flash support yet, but hopefully down the road it might. Um, you can just double tap to simply zoom in. As you can tell, it renders it pretty quick and on the fly. This kinetic scrolling is pretty smooth and fluid, so no problems whatsoever. You can do pinch to zoom gestures to zoom in, so you notice it's quite responsive. You have some additional um, functionality too. If you click the, uh, the uh, dots there, you have all these other options. You could also open up uh, pages in different windows. And you can tell just moving about all the various uh, open tabs, it does a great job in rendering it and displaying it. So the experience is, to tell you the truth, uh, really fantastic. And you'll be happy to say that um, you're browsing without any problems at all. Now, seeing that this is an AT&T branded app uh, device, uh, there's going to be a bunch of different uh, carrier applications on here. As you can tell, there's AT&T Family Map, AT&T My Wireless, you have AT&T Navigator for your turn-by-turn -turn directions. Just because Bing Maps does not offer that just yet. You have AT&T Radio and AT&T UVerse, which allows you to uh, download and view uh, various content uh, on the device itself. But it's a subscription-based, just like AT&T Navigator. But there's a host of other applications on here that you can browse through.
The calendar app acts as it should. Um, it'll display it in both just day view and also month view. There's no week view, unfortunately. Um, and as you could tell, it just lays it out in typical fashion. Uh, there's not as much uh, information with the uh, month view, but if you go to a specific date, you'll be able to see what's going on. You could add also an event. It also uh, sync it up with either various accounts, whether it be Windows Live or Google. And you could also add pertinent information, such as reminders and even some notes. Since this is a Microsoft product, it's only going to be fitting to see Xbox Live integrated with the uh, mobile platform. So if we run the uh, application here, it's going to get you into the Xbox Live Hub. And of course, you could just move uh, between the panels here to get to different um, so the different features of the uh, application. So you could also you know, buy games, you could try them out. The great thing about it is uh, you could read information about the specific game, how much it costs. You can either buy or try it out if you want to. Um, so it's pretty neat that it has that uh, that uh, opportunity for you to check it out first ahead of time. In addition, you could even uh, you have the spotlight features here, and you even have uh, your Xbox Live avatar, which you could uh, personalize on the go. Um, down the road, hopefully, it gets a little bit more uh, in depth in this regard. But uh, definitely, uh, with the one gigahertz Snapdragon processor in tow, the experience of playing games is pretty sweet, and of, of course, it's uh, pretty smooth as well. Since uh, Windows Phone 7 is uh, pretty much the experience is going to be consistent and doesn't have the option of uh, you know customization is very lacking with the device. Uh, HTC decided to p give it its own hub, the HTC Hub. You can launch it from the start menu or directly from the home screen. And it gives you a tasting of, of course, HTC's uh, hub, Sense Hub, which looks just like what you see on other smartphones, whether it be Windows Mobile or even Android. It gives you information such as the uh, time, date, um, the weather, and also uh, gives you some featured apps. If you click um, the the uh, the uh, the weather, it's going to show you also additional information such as the uh, forecast for the upcoming days and it just does a pretty good job of just uh, presenting you some pertinent inf information within the hub itself and you could download additional ones such as the stocks to get uh, up-to-date news of all your uh, your investments and all that but it's a nice touch uh, but you have to just run it it won't show the, any of the information on the home screen in the tile itself for some, the Maps experience, which is powered by Bing Maps, might not be as tailor-made compared to uh, Google Maps right now, just because it's a little bit more mature. With the uh, Bing Maps uh, application here on the HTC Surround, it's just going to give you the bare essentials, and as you notice, uh, scrolling is pretty good, zooming in as well is pretty fluid, so you're not going to have too much of a problem loading up, and it has these, this nice cloud effect to it. If you click the bottom right corner with the uh, dots, it's going to provide you some additional functionality, like turning on uh, the uh, aerial view, which is basically an overhead view of the uh, map. You also have additional functions such as uh, directions, your GPS, you can do a points of interest search. So for example, let's look up one real quick here for at and stores. They'll provide you some pins on the map, so you click any one of them. It's going to give you additional details such as the address, phone number, and you can get directions. If you pan over, you can even get uh, reviews about the place, what else is nearby, just some pertinent information about it. It doesn't offer turn-by-turn -turn directions just yet, but hopefully down the road it will. With any major platform, of course, there's going to be a centralized hub to download all your apps, and that's what you have the marketplace for. So we can run the uh, hub for it. Um, it's just similar to the other hubs. Uh, you can just pan left and right to view various various tiles. Uh, you have one for specific HTC apps, because this is, the, of course, the uh, surround from HTC. You can download additional apps um, you know, on the marketplace. Some of them you'll have to pay for, and some of them are, of course, free. It'll give you some information if there's any uh, downloads required, so if there's any updates also to existing applications it'll show up right here um, and of course they break it down to various categories so you could pick and choose whichever one you want for music though you have of course zoom integration with the device so if anyone who used the zoom player before you're going to fit it just right in just the overall interface looks quite similar you have some recent um, history so any songs you played recently it's going to show up here on the uh, the zoom hub and of course um, you could just list all your music by different categories, whether it be by artists, uh, by albums, and you could scroll, as you could tell, it's all pretty smooth, by songs, and even playlists. So it has a really nice presentation, definitely one of the prettier ones out there. And if we play a song, we gotta say though, uh, especially especially this device, um, it has a really nice tone from the speaker, especially the slide out one. And when you cycle through the uh, various options uh, for it, um, it does produce some really clear, distinct, and powerful tones. So any music lover will definitely like it. Um, when you when you 
you go back to the home screen, um, it'll still continue to play the song, but if you want to just get the mini player up and running, you just got to tap the, uh, the volume controls and you notice you'll have it up there for you. So I'll show you the uh, pictures hub next here. So if we click it on the home screen, as you tell, there's a photo there. It's rectangular. It takes up two tiles, and it'll cycle through various photos that are on the device itself. Um, with Windows Phone 7, of course, there's going to be a lot of panning left to right. So you could just check out some of the most recent photos you've taken. And also we'll show you what's new in terms of Facebook. Uh, people who have posted pictures on their, on their walls. Um, you can even break it down to various categories. So if I click all here, go to the camera roll, and you'll see the gallery. You can do it in portrait or landscape. And if you click an item, you'll have the ability to just swipe left and right. And it's pretty fluid and smooth. You have even pinch to zoom gestures. Unfortunately, there is no editing tools right now now with it so you can't do anything in that regard but if you click the bottom right corner you're gonna have some options here you can add to your favorites use it as a wallpaper or you could sh simply share it you could either send it as a text me picture message you could also email as an attachment or upload it to Facebook directly now since the HTC surrounds powered by a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor it's not gonna have any problems in regards to playing high resolution videos so if we go into the hub here for videos it breaks it down to different categories. You could view all, you could do by TV, music, vid, movies, personal. So you have a bunch of different uh, categories to choose from. So we have one encoded in MPEG-4, 1280 by 720 resolution. So we're just going to show you that really quick here. As you can tell, it's playing it only in landscape. There's no uh, portrait option. But uh, from what you can tell here, it does uh, play it quite smoothly. No evidence of any lag whatsoever. You have some on-screen controls and just the uh, video watching experience is really good. And on top of that the speaker speaker makes it just complements it overall the HTC surround of course is going to offer Microsoft Office integration so this is the hub here as we pan to the right you're gonna have the ability to open up documents Word Excel or PowerPoint you could even start a new one here you also have the ability to do SharePoint uh, you could open edit and also uh, download documents that are stored in SharePoint if you have that capability but let's quickly run an application uh, a Word document here and the layout and look of it is pretty much what you expect. You have the keyboard and of course, of course the uh, cursor. You can start typing away and do what you got to do. As far as formatting goes, uh, if you click the bottom right corner here with the dots, it's going to give you some functionality, uh, whether it be outline. You could also add a comment. You could find a specific word. Um, you could even do some formatting to an extent. It's not as in-depth as we would like it to. It's missing things like bulleting, but uh, you know, at least it offers you some basic, basic uh, functions with it. So that's pretty much uh, the uh, with the uh, Word document side of uh, Microsoft Office. If you do the uh, the the Excel or start a workbook, it's going to look quite similar as you expect uh, any uh, any spreadsheet application. You have additional functionality down here. You could format a, format a cell as well. But uh, it's still in the early stages, and hopefully down the road it's going to get a little bit more fine-tuned to really give you that office product productivity feel on the device itself. You can simply start up the camera application by simply holding down the uh, shutter key here. As you can tell with the interface, it's very clean. There's barely any icons on here. On the top right-hand side, you have your toggle for your videos and photos, your zoom level. And the bottom right here, you click on it, it's going to give you some options such as the resolution, the uh, scene mode, and even the effects. If you go back to the interface, you pan to the left, it's, it's, it's going to just give you a preview of some of the content that you recently taken. And from here, you could even share it as a picture message or to, to Facebook if you like. Now, taking a photo is pretty simple. Slightly hold down the shutter key for it to focus, and then you press it all the way down to take the shot. Now, the images it produces with its 5 megapixel autofocus camera, outdoor conditions, uh, had a soft look to it. On top of that, colors were a little bit on the bland side just, the, just because it looked uh, a little bit overexposed. Indoors. Uh, it got a little bit fuzzier, especially in low lighting conditions. The flash, though, did do a decent job of illuminating, but still colors were not the most natural looking. Overall, though, you'll probably get away with taking some decent shots. Not the best out there or sharpest, but should be good enough for most people. Since the surrounds a high-end device, it's only natural for it to offer a 720p video recording. Now, the neat thing about this and Windows Phone 7 is that um, it does continuous focus. So if an object gets closer to the camera's field of view, it's going to automatically um, focus for that. And if it moves far away, it's going to compensate too. So you have a nice-looking, uh, consistent, and focused video. Now, it has a nice detail thanks to 720p video recording. The frame rate in outdoor conditions, you're going to get as much as 24 frames per second, so it's nice and fluid. Unfortunately, though, when you take it indoors, low lighting conditions, it drops down to 8 frames per second, so you definitely notice a lot of jerkiness to it. But overall, we're happy with the quality of the 720p video recording on the surround, and should be more than acceptable for anyone out there.
Color quality on the surround is pretty mediocre just because the earpiece itself produces some strong tones, but unfortunately, there is a prominent static and background noise when you have it set to the loudest setting. So if you put it down a couple notches, it's not as prominent, but still quite noticeable. On top of that, voices on our end did sound a little bit hissy towards uh, the end of words. On the flip side, though, our callers did say our voice was sound, sounded a little bit on a mute side, but they're still able to distinguish them. When we sw switched to using the speaker, however, though, uh, it's produced some really strong tones, made it very easy for us to hear our callers, and the calling quality with speakerphone is pretty decent, actually. Now, during our time testing the surround, we didn't have any issues as far as drop calls, and it looks like it did a good job in holding a solid connection to the network. Battery life on the HTC surround is not as good as what we saw with the uh, Samsung Focus. Uh, we noticed that on uh, normal usage, we managed to get uh, 12 hours of usage uh, with it when compared to the over 15 hour u heavy usage on the Focus. So we just noticed that this one was eating up the battery a little bit more, but it should get by a solid 8 hour work shift. But if you're a heavy user, definitely you're going to need to recharge this as much as you can. Between all the other handsets that's going to launch with AT&T for Windows Phone 7, we've got to admit the HTC Surround feels like it's the best built device. Of course, it has that premium materials to use. It's a very uh, solidly built handset compared to the others. And it's also the most strikingly unique one just because it has that slide out uh, speaker and the uh, kickstand. So for any multimedia centric individuals out there, you're going to be pretty happy with this device. But the bigger story is, of course, Windows Phone 7. It's a relatively new platform, still in the early stages of its development. still has a long way to go, but from what we've witnessed so far, it does a fantastic job in giving a surreal user experience that's not only responsive, but it's also gratifying just because of the, all the nice transition effects it utilizes. Yeah, it doesn't have all the uh, functionality compared to some mature mobile platforms out there, but over time, we can definitely see this uh, become a little bit more complete, and it's going to offer a wide range of features. So if you'd like to learn more about the HTC Surround or Windows Phone 7, or even for all the latest cell phone reviews, news specs, and information, you can check us out at phonerena.com.